Welcome back to the next Smart Suite Showcase. If you're new here, I'm your host, Nate Montgomery, and this series is all about giving you insights on how customers are using our platform based on how our onboarding team has been helping customers recently. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look on how interior design firms are using SmartSuite. SmartSuite is a great solution for interior designers because you can collect data directly from your clients and from the websites in places that you find inspiration from, bring that data directly into SmartSuite and relate it to your CRM, your inventory management, and then start to actually do the work of those projects and budgeting directly within SmartSuite. This then allows you to make sure you're meeting the requirements of your clients and once you're done with the budgeting and the project, you can use SmartSuite as a tool to compile that information and get it back to your clients in a customized and official looking way. Let's dive right in. Before we get started in this episode, I wanna remind you where you can find these solutions like the one I'm using today. You navigate to your homepage, go down to add new solution, start with templates and click on SmartSuite showcases. All of the templates I use throughout all my videos are located here. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on this interior design budget management solution. Feel free to download and follow along. We're inside of the solution I've created based on how we're helping interior design teams work with SmartSuite. We have four apps, items, budgets, client projects, and inspiration. We'll start with client projects with how you could intake the information from your clients. That can be done through a form. Here is an example form view from the Smart Suite side of things. And this is how it could look to a client or customer. You can embed this on your website, or send this directly to them. From here, they can provide information you are looking to collect, including which rooms they're looking to design, the budget for those rooms, and any extra notes they might want to include here. When that's submitted, it'll create a record directly inside of SmartSuite where you can be notified, and then you can go into the client project record, look at the project information, add a due date, assign a person to it, and then start looking at the budgeted information for each room they want to track. This linked record is going to be used when we're creating the actual budget for the client project based on the items we want to include in certain rooms for this client's overall design of what they're looking for. When a client project request comes in, you can easily relate this client project to a client that you may have inside of your sales CRM, which you can easily do that by adding a field to this grid view, going over to linked records, and maybe picking an account that this project relates to, to relate that data. I'll now move over to items. That represents a listing of items that you offer at different price points to include inside of the projects that you're working on for your clients. As you can see, we have items related to different rooms, for example, living rooms, kitchens, dining rooms. We have three different price points to represent a lower, medium, and a higher end price for that specific item. I'll open up a record where you can see the item information at the top. We can see the different price points and then the link to the budget, which I'll get into in a second. This inventory listing or these items can be linked to a location such as a warehouse. They can be linked to your purchase orders and your sales orders, which can be managed in a different process and a different solution. And you would just relate that data like I was showing you inside of the client projects. Now, in order to get items inside of here, you have to collect information from somewhere. And one way to do this is inside of our inspirations tab. Here we have an inspiration board of things we find on the internet that we can offer inside of the projects we are working on for our clients. One way you can do this is using our web clipper, which you can add as an extension inside of your Google Chrome browser. Let's say you're looking at this Winston Diamond table and you want to add it to that inspiration app inside of SmartSuite. What you can do is click on the extension, go to the SmartSuite Web Clipper. I pre-built this one for us and it will pull information from this web page and put it into fields inside of SmartSuite. Moving back to SmartSuite, we have this new Winston dining table with the relevant price, description, and a linked item so you can go back to it if need be. You can also relate this piece of inspiration back to an item. You start to offer this item to your clients inside of their budgets. Finally, let's move over to the budgets where we are compiling items for different rooms that clients are requesting. Inside of this first view here, we have budgets by client by room. If we close this grouping to condense the information a little bit, we have groupings of clients. When we open them, we have a listing of rooms that we are budgeting for probably based on what they've requested and which rooms they are looking to design. If I open up the room groupings, we can see the items that are inside of the rooms and their fields collecting important information about this. First off, we have the budget. We also have an option with the lowest, middle, or high price. And this is pulling from that price list inside of the items. We have a quantity here to represent how many the client wants of that. 
you have your cost, which takes the cost of the items inside of your items app, the customer price, which is a customized markup over your cost. And then we have a total included with sales tax. And then finally, we have a formula to tell you if you're within budget or over budget. The spotlight is going to follow suit with that over budget, within budget. These three fields here are formulas. The sales tax, we're just adding on 6%. The customer price, we're doing 100% markup here. So we're multiplying the cost by two. And then the my cost is looking to see which option you've picked in that single select and then returning the relevant price times the quantity of the items you want. Once you start using the column footers to sum up the information, you can start to see what the total price is per room, per client, to track if you're on par with meeting the client's needs. For client project one, we're a little over budget on our nightstands and bed frames. And this is probably because we're picking the high option. What we can do is go down to a lower price and see if that fits the budget. It looks like the total with sales tax included was moved down to 4,240, which meets our $5,000 budget for the United States and bed frame for this client, which hides the record green because we're within the budget. This client project one looks good and you can create a separate view to only look at client one's project. From here, you can share this view directly with the clients, or if you're looking for something more official, you can use our newly released document designer to get the information about the budgets back to your clients. Going over to the client projects where we can store these document designer templates. I've created an example of document designer templates to share with your clients and get approval for the budget you've created for them. So you can start on that project. If I click on the document designer, I can see a templated example of how you can pull information from the fields, link records you're using to compile a budget overview that you can send to your clients, get approval and have them sign with your signature here. You can easily save this to a record in SmartSuite and have an automation send it out via email. You can easily export and print directly from the document designer and also flip through the records, which represent your different client projects to fill this page with information relating to those projects. That wraps up this SmartSuite showcase. Once again, SmartSuite is a great tool for interior designers because you can use it to collect data from your clients from the places you find inspiration from relate them to the projects you're working on while managing the projects and budgets to manage that work effectively and then once that's complete compiling that information and getting it in a format that is ready to give to your customers if you have any requests for a future showcase feel free to leave that in the comments below along with any questions you may have thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next week